All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Try Trying Harder. Today we have some Lego minifigs. This is the latest set out. Grab three of them. Let's take a look at this box. Five and up. This is going to be a Marvel Studios series. Twelve to collect. Looks like we got a, a few characters here. That's obviously not all twelve. But those are some pretty iconic characters like Wolverine, Beast, She-Hulk, Moon Knight. As far as I know, completely blind box. I wasn't even able to, to grab these. They handed them over to me at the good old Lego store. But there's no means of like feeling to see what the heck is in here. And they're afraid to set them out because they said uh, people were coming in with scales to figure it out. And I guess that just crosses the line. You can feel through a bag all you want, but I'll be if you put this on a scale, I guess. All right, so obviously some choking hazards. Not much else to the box. So let's see what we got. Hopefully no dupes. Okay, box number one. I don't even know the best way to get in here. We'll just rip open here. Not good enough. Okay. What in the, what are you? Agatha? This one, I just, I need to know what the heck is in here. All of that for a cape? Wow, all right. That further makes me think that this is Agatha. Let's go ahead and check out these instructions. That should show us the whole, damn, the whole set. There's her instructions at least if we needed them. But here's all the characters. 99% uh, sure that's Agatha. Again, there's a Moon Knight, a different Moon Knight. Is that a werewolf? Yeah, it must be from that Disney Plus werewolf movie. Ant-Man and gosh, I'm ashamed to not know the rest. Chick Hawkeye, real Hawkeye, She-Hulk, Ten Rings Dude, Beast, Storm, Wolverine. All right, well, really, I didn't care for this character, but we shall build her. A little dress, body, her specially packed cape. She's got two faces. Wink, wink. All right, that's fun. Huzzah! Hair. We gotta figure these things out. I think she just holds them like so. Pretty neat, I suppose. <laughs> wink, wink, there we go. Bam, build the book. Snap these two pieces together. Put some words in the book. Go like that so you see this crazy Lego lady. Shwa. I think this crazy little thing is for an action shot. So we slap that onto her behind, put her on her stand, and voila. Now she's a flying witch with her little book. It's a little disappointing that there's no way to attach this thing if you're kind of posing these on a shelf. But if you like Agatha, not too shabby. Okay, next up, here we go. It's different than the first one, so already a win. All right, what we got? This is Echo. I misspoke earlier. Now that I see the female features, the peg leg, my misunderstanding. Quite the intricate outfit. Her little metal leg. A lot going on on this one. They uh, spent some time on the, the details for sure. I don't think I've seen such a detailed Lego figure. I think this makes her weapon. Slide these guys on. Bam. In the hand. And same with Agatha. You can give her some kind of an action pose. Got some extra pieces here. Let's see. Kick with the metal leg or she gonna come at you. Cool. Pretty neat that they give you this simple little piece just to give you some action. Oh, they actually like really gave you detail on her leg. It's transparent. Got a little notch in it. All right. Good job, Lego. Final one for today. Son of a Betamax. Look, I'm not even gonna build this one. This is blatantly Agatha all over again in pieces. We saw this, just rewind the video. All right, maybe the internet has already figured this out and I'm late to the game, but I did notice that the codes on the bottom of these differ, except on Agatha. These two were the same for the Agatha boxes. 426R3 and Echo was 725R3. Maybe a coincidence, maybe not. I don't know, check the Google. But so far it seems like don't get matching numbers and you won't get matching characters. We'll test that out maybe. Okay, so here are the figures. Not really uh, thrilled with them. They're not by any means my favorite characters. They did a good job making them, but yeah, not my cup of tea. Thanks for watching. What do what do you think of these minifigures? What do you think of the series? Lego do good? They not do so good? Like, comment, subscribe, and uh, next time I go and look at these, or maybe even future things, I should probably Google and, uh, you know, try trying harder.